take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Orchids possess an exotic appearance with their tall, graceful stalks of blossoms and thick green leaves. Ideally, the foliage should appear firm and medium green in color. If a leaf is wilted, becomes yellow or is heavily blemished, it should be removed from the plant. This should be done with care. Make your mark, take our lead. Hydrated roots should be firm and green while dehydrated roots will be white, brown, or shriveled. Purple or reddish leaves. If the tops of orchid leaves turn reddish, reddish undersides are often normal. Your orchid may be suffering from sunburn or a nitrogen or phosphorus deficiency. Let's help you make your mark. If one or two leaves on the bottom of your orchid plant turn yellow, let it continue to do so. The plant seals off these leaves from the rest of the plant, and they'll drop off naturally. Don't remove them from the plant yourself. Some people remove them because the look of yellow leaves is unsightly. Make your mark, take our lead. Overwatering can lead to yellowing leaves. Overwatering your orchid can lead to root rot, which can, in turn, cause its leaves to turn yellow. If your orchid is suffering from root rot, repotting in fresh new potting media will set the plant on the path to recovery. Make your mark, take our lead. If the leaves are limp and leathery, make sure that the problem really is neglect. If you've been watering and watering, trying to water some life back into your orchid, hold off on the water. Guess why I know so much about this cycle? That's right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.